back to my channel if this is your first time here hello my name is Mika thank you so much for stopping in so today I just wanted to give you guys a hair update so um, as you know I'm not um, a natural hair guru or you know interested really in doing the natural hair videos but I know that that's what a lot of you like and you're curious about it so I just thought that um, I'll drop in a few videos here and there just letting you know if I made any changes to my hair care routine and um, what I feel is working for me, what I feel is not. And, you know, our hair is constantly changing. It's just like our bodies. One year, it may be doing fine on this, but it don't work the next year after that. So, um, just again, a little update about my hair. I've been at you now for five or six years. I lost count, y'all. I mean... <sighs> It used to be exciting now it's more like a chore so um i you know throughout the time i spent a lot of money on natural hair products but now as i'm just getting tired of spending money on my on my natural hair and you know realizing that a lot of the upscale higher brand things don't work as they say they're going to work i just started learning you know the less the better um you you just need um, water, uh, maybe a leave-in conditioner, a cream or a moisturizer, and an oil. That's it. Like, before it was like five, six hours of me doing a hair care routine, and now it's more like an hour to two hours, depending on what I'm doing to my hair. So right now it's wet, y'all. Yes, it is in the morning. I am almost ready to go to work, but my hair is wet, and I'm going to tell you why. So I like to stretch my wash days um, because I don't like to strip my hair a lot. And because I do use heavy products on my hair, I tend to have to strip my hair in order to get it cleansed, in order to re-moisturize it and do the, put the nutrition back into it that I need to get into in order for it to stay healthy. So um, what I do is when I feel like it's dry and I try using my water and I try putting on my um, my leave-in conditioner and maybe an oil or just sometimes I don't even do an oil sometimes I just do water and a leave-in or sometimes I just use water um, if I feel like my hair is feeling still kind of dry kind of and it's getting more tangly that's red flag for me I'm automatically doing something different either I'm washing it or I'm co-washing it now I know co-washing gets a bad repetition because you know, it's just like saying, I'm going to take a shower, but I'm going to use lotion instead of soap. Let that sink in. So, yes, it does sound disgusting. And it's like, that's more built up on your hair. You're not getting anything clean, but that's not my purpose. I'm not trying to get it clean. I'm trying to get it moisturized. So, this morning, I um, got in a shower, just like normal. Um, and I just let my hair drench underneath the, the shower head. And once it was sloppy wet because my hair takes forever it's like a mop y'all and i'm telling you when i say it's like a mop believe me it may not look like it but if you deal with it you understand it's not very much scalp up in this head so um it takes a while so you know i just waited till it got saturated and then i use um Izzy moist cheap conditioner i used to use this as my my detangler now y'all i just whatever i feel like i i need to do like sometimes i use an oil to detangle my hair sometimes i just use water i let the water run through my hair and it would detangle sometimes i have to use a conditioner you just have to listen to your hair like there is no no one size fits all when it comes to your natural hair and when it comes to caring for it you're its mother so you should learn what your hair needs, what it, what it likes, and what works and what doesn't work at certain different times. So um, I just use this cheapy conditioner. Sometimes if I really feel like I wanna give my hair a little bit of a treat, I will use um, one of my more expensive brand um, deep conditioners, um, just especially if I know it's been a while, my hair really is feeling dry and I still don't feel like washing it yet. I will use more of an upscale deep conditioner, but for the most part, just a cheapy rinse out conditioner that works for my hair. And Ozzy Moist does work. Um, not necessarily saying that it does penetrate my hair because, you know, it's a low brand. So 
you know, the controversy on that is it doesn't work. It just like kind of coats your hair, but for my hair, it works and it gives me the moisture that I need to get through the next few days until I get ready to wash my hair. So, um, after that, all I did was, um, I put in my leave conditioner, my leave in conditioner, which now I use this Emerge. I found this at Walmart, y'all. I got it for like $7. Before I was spending $20, $30 for a leave in conditioner, or I was like spending a lot of money making my own leave in conditioner, because you know, it only lasts for a certain amount of time when you make it yourself without preservatives. So I got tired of that and I was like, well, I, I was reading this and it says it's for naturals, your main bestie leave-in conditioner for curly, coily, and textured hair. Um, it's nourishing and smoothing and um, it's moisture rich and frizz free. Um, it, it creates frizz, frizz free curl definition, <laughs> if I could talk. But um, so far, me, I've been using it now for a month. Um, I don't really like to tell people to, to try anything that I haven't tried for at least a month just because you don't know how it would turn out. And I've been, honestly, I've been using this um, anytime, like when I re refresh my hair, I rest, uh, spray it with water, spray bottle, spray it with water, get in the shower or hot shower. And then once I get out, I just put this leave-in conditioner on it and some, sometimes an oil or just this and I go about my day. And so far, I feel like it works. Um, it is a cheap brand of leave-in conditioner. If you don't believe in putting, you know, um, lower brand products on your hair, then honey, this is not for you. But for me, it works. And you get tired of sucking your, your wallet dry, y'all, trying to figure out different things for your mane because she's a mess. She likes something one day and the next day she don't. She wants lobster today and a cheeseburger from McDonald's tomorrow. So you need to just be okay with that and go with the flow and stop trying to force her to like more expensive things because just because it's more expensive doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work. And I've had that happen, lots of slaps in the face, gave away a lot of products before to people that I personally knew, not on this channel, y'all. But I've, I've done that and it sucks, you know? So just... Try whatever. If your hair, nine chances out of 10, 9.5 chances out of 10, your hair is not gonna fall out just because it's a cheap product or it has parabens or um, grease or whatever in it. It's like, you know, your hair is not gonna just say, oh my goodness, I'm gonna fall out now because you put something cheap in me. So try it if it doesn't work, next. So. That's my hair care, my hair care routine for days where I just I just need to give it a little bit extra moisture. Um, but throughout, I'll just show you what I be I use from time to time. Like I said, there is no specific time, a specific way I use these products. I just use them. I feel my hair. I just focus on what she feels like, cause she's lazy just like me. And we both work together. We, work, we make a great team because we both lazy. So she's going to just be like, well, I guess I'll take that today. I don't care. And I was like, yes, girl, because I really didn't feel like doing all the extra stuff. So you have a relationship with your hair. And I promise you, your hair care routine is going to be so easy. Stop making it harder than it has to be. Stop trying to trying to use everything that everybody else is using because not just at a 10 just because it works for somebody else doesn't mean it's going to work for you as you can see i am type 4 and i don't use all the type 4 products that they be saying to use i use whatever i get my hands on and whatever i can afford and i try it out and if it works i keep using it and i do have low porosity hair that's why you see i don't know if you guys can see it but i see it um there it looks like it's white in my hair that's the conditioner it's it's gonna it's gonna go away. I promise y'all. It's just my hair. I'm, I have low porosity in the tighter coils of my hair, and then more up here, it's more of a mix. Um, I have some spots where it's high porosity, some spots where it's low porosity, and some that's like eh, it's like it, it, you know it goes away. My products um, seep in within a reasonable amount of time. So I like I said I don't I just leave her alone. I let her do what she wants to do. She's gonna eat when she wants to eat. 
and we're gonna be all right. As long as I know I fed her, I'm good to go. I'm minding my business, I'm going about my day. So, um, hair grease. I know that was one of the biggest things you all wanted to know about hair grease. So I did try that Nature's Blessing. Sorry, y'all, it's kind of old, because I've been trying it for a little while. I don't know if you can see it. It's like, I've been trying it for a while. Um, I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, I don't, I don't know what's in it, but I mean, I know what's in it, but it's something in it that makes my hair feel dry. Um, so, I mean, it has all great things in it. I mean, I feel like it has great things in it. It has a pretty long list back here, y'all. So if you get a chance, look it up. Nature's Blessing. Smells good. Um, I do use it. Um, well, I had two of these jars. I'm down to one now, but um, I have used it on kids' hair, my daughter's hair, and their hair does fine. But my hair, for some reason, it just I don't know, it would be like super greasy, but then makes my hair dry. I don't, it's the weirdest thing. So, um, but you guys try it because I do think it's a great product, and I do think it does do what it says it's going to do, it adds moisture to your hair, and it creates that level of uh, protection, it seals in that moisture. So give it a try. Um, not my, my my favorite, but I use hair grease, and some people say that that's not their favorite. So it to each his own. Like just calm down, try what you want to try, and just let me know what you think. Um, I don't use hair grease anymore though. So what I use now is whipped shea butter, and the reason for that is um, I just feel like my hair benefits from it better. I feel like it gets more nutrients and it stays um, more moisturized longer. And I don't know, I mean, I don't really use it like that. I know some people, they, they, they take sections of their hair and they slap on that, you know, their products. I don't do that. I use maybe like, I say a pea size and then I mix it with my leave-in, y'all. So I already rinse my hair. And then I put on my leave-in conditioner. And then to seal it, I use like a pea size to so maybe a quarter size for each half. Like I split my hair down the center. So each half, um, I use the shea, butter, the shea butter mix, which has olive oil in it and grapeseed oil. And it also has avocado oil, but I used the rest on it. I used the rest of my avocado oil when I when I made my whipped shea butter. So that's why I don't have it. And I'm not showing y'all the whipped shea butter, y'all, because it's a mess. Cause um, I didn't measure it. So when I made it, it was uh, it was a lot. So um, it made a it made a big mess, y'all. But it still works for me. So. Um, just something you guys can think about. Um, and how I just made it is simple. Buy you some shea butter, put it in a bowl, put your oils in it, use a, a blender, a, uh, not a blender, but a mixer, and whip it up. That's it, whip shea butter, there you go. So, um, but I mix it with this. So I, the shea butter, cause it's so thick, I don't like that. So I use the shea butter, mix with this, mix it together, make it like a thick consistency, and I just rub it through my hair. That's it, that's what's on my hair this morning too, y'all. So that's probably why it's taking a long time to get rid of some of the product, but yeah. So I don't like I don't like a lot of buildup on my hair, so keep it simple. Um, as far as my hair gels, I use this Cantu Avocado Hydrating Gel. If I feel like I wanna do like a ponytail or a puff, I do use this. I don't like to use gel on my hair because um, it, it makes my, I don't know what it is, but it makes me feel like I have lice. My scalp be on fire. I be begging somebody, can I please take a shower and wash my hair? Because it be so itchy. So I'm really, I don't like to use gels. You'll see me 90, 99.9% .9 of the time looking nappy like this because I don't, I don't do too much gel. I may do a little bit of edge control, which I use the Arcani Coil Care. And that works, I mean, I think it works pretty good. Um, and it's reasonably priced. I believe I paid 25 for that jar online through um, Arcani Coil Care. Um, 
not sponsored. This video is not sponsored for anybody, but I'm just telling you what I use. Um, and then my deep conditioner to when I wash my hair. First of all, when I wash my hair, I use I use the um, Gold Siri shampoo. That's when I want to wash out the product. And this is moisturizing too, but it does kind of strip my hair, so that's good. I want that extra product stripped off my hair. When I feel like I, I need a, a, a good tingle, I use the Miel shampoo. Can y'all see that? Yes, I use that one. Um, sometimes when I feel like my hair is just, you know, been through enough, you know, I need to really cleanse my scalp. My scalp feels dirty. I use the Shea Moisture Strengthening Shampoo, the uh, castor oil one. And then if I just want some moisture, I don't really feel like my scalp really needs that much cleansing, I use the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Shampoo. Then for my deep conditioners, I use the Miel Barbasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. This one has protein in it, y'all. Not a lot, but it's like moisture protein balance. So I don't, I use it maybe, I use it probably most of the month just because my hair, it likes it. But if you're protein sensitive, try not to use it that often because it does have protein from what I was, from what I learned about it. So careful with that. Um, and then just for a normal deep conditioner, I use the Miel Strengthening Deep Conditioner. And then again, after I do all that, I use my leave-in conditioner and my Shea Moisture, uh, my Shea Butter Mix, or just sometimes just a plain oil. Um, and usually if I get, I use the plain oil, it's usually grapeseed oil because it's more of a sealant oil. Um, and then for my edges and my nape, I use black castor oil. And that's real simple, y'all. Just a few drops, rub it in, you're good to go. Tie your hair down, you're good. So um, one bonus though that I know a lot of people don't want to hear, they may not like what I have to say, but invest in you some shears. Um, you want to make sure that wash day, um, you're making sure that you are clipping those ends, even if you feel like it doesn't need to be clipped. Clip them, especially if you have knots and tangles. Like sometimes I'll, when I wash my hair or if I'm moisturizing it, I'll find like um, single strand knots. I just clip it. I mean, it's one strand of hair, y'all. So if you have to cut it short, oh well, nobody's gonna see one strand of hair. But if you leave it, I guarantee you're gonna have a bigger problem on your hands because it's gonna continue to get other hair caught into it and you're gonna have a, a knot in your hairs. I've done that before too. It's not cute. And then you're gonna end up having to cut off a lot more hair than you had to if you just stop being, you know, a big baby over one strand of hair and you just cut it off. So those are my tips. Let me know what you do. Um, I know this is not the best hair video, but um, like I said, I'm literally not good at it. It's not really my passion to do hair videos, but I just wanted to share, you know, what I do to my hair. Uh, just to help somebody else out, I know you. I know a lot of my viewers, a lot of you all like seeing my videos on natural hair, um, and like the bigger part of it all, be, besides just taking care of it on the outside, is making sure I stay hydrated. Drink, I drink lots and lots of water, a lot of water, y'all. Probably am a walking water uh, water fountain, but um, lots of water. Um, if you need to take vitamins, take vitamins. Um, I don't believe in taking their hair vitamins and things like that. But if you want to, try it out. Maybe it'll work for you. Um, and um, it's genetic. So, you know, you can't really combat genetics. But the rest of the stuff you can do. Eat healthier. Drink lots of water. Exercise. Take vitamins. Invest in you a good hair care product. And kind of stay, have a routine. So then your hair, you know, even if it starts to feel dried out and or it, you know, like mine, it gets a little crunchy, y'all. Your hair, it, it, it won't do too much damage if you have one of those bad days or bad weeks versus if you constantly just let it dry out and stuff, you're just going to have a head full of damaged hair. And make sure that you clip those ends. I am a firm believer 
not clipping the ends make the hair grow. That's that ain't true because your hair is always growing, even if your hair is is wildly damaged. But clipping your ends help you retain length. That's that is what I believe because you cutting off that those split ends, those single strand knots, um, tangled hair, all that stuff. If it's not coming undone, don't try to don't pull on it because it will pop and it's gonna cause split ends. So. Go ahead and just clip it. I carry my scissors with me everywhere I go just because I'm a picker. I tend, I don't know what it is. I have an obsession with finding single strand knots in my hair. And so if I'm at work or something, I can just quickly snip it off instead of using handheld scissors or just ripping it and letting my hair get damaged. Because handheld scissors, we all know, they are not meant to go on your hair because you cut your hair with handheld scissors. Um, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna have a bigger issue on your hands, you're gonna have some split ends, and then of course, ripping your hair, snapping your hair, doing things like that. It's gonna cost the same thing. So, invest in some good shears, get you some baby shears, carry it around with you. Because if you're like me, type four, your hair is kinky, coily, and tight, you're gonna have single strand heights regardless of what you do y'all like it don't matter you're gonna get them so um i just say if you pick on your hair if you're always trying to keep the knots out and you're pulling in it doing things like that the best thing for you to do is to go ahead and get you some shears so you can just cut it if necessary and go about your business and that way wash day is gonna be easier for you because you won't have a whole bunch of tangles and knots and and single strand knots and you know all kinds of craziness going on with your hair because you already been keeping it neat and clipped throughout the week. Not saying go crazy and clip all your hair off, but you know, just clip as you need to. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. As usual, keep the conversation going. I will talk back. Let me know what products you tried and what routine you have and you know, let everybody know in the comments. That way, someone who needs some assistance with their natural hair um, can get some ideas. Let people know what type of hair you have, if you know. Um, and let's just all stick together with family here. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will talk next time. <laughs>